Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone automations that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device in 2022. These are super, super useful and of course will make your life way easier by automating things and not have to worry about turning on and off and doing stuff on your iPhone manually. So we're starting things off with the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, seller data and stuff like that. You know that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi cannot be turned off completely from the control center. And of course, having them on all the time when you don't need them is of course not useful and will also consume a ton of battery on your device. So what you can do is create this personal automation that will turn these off completely at a certain time. Let's say you go to sleep at around 11 p.m. at night. You can set this up to basically turn them off completely at let's say 11.30. So you go to automations, time of the day, and pick the time of the day right here. So here we can go to 23, let's say 25, and at this third certain time every day, your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular data can be turned off completely. You just go to add action and search here for, let's say Bluetooth, set Wi-Fi off, and we can also do cellular data So here we have set seller data and that off again, tap next, disable this, tap on don't ask, click done and you're good to go. Not every day now at, at 11.25 these will completely be turned off, not disabled, completely turned off. Now with automations you can also create automations to basically receive notifications when you leave a certain place. Let's say when you leave your home of course you want to be sure that you haven't forgot anything maybe like your keys or your wallet or stuff like that. What you can do is tap the plus button right there create personal automation and then go right here to leave and of course pick your location you turn on location services and you can pick your current location that let's say being your home or maybe your office so let's just choose the location here click done and tap next and then search for notification show notification right there and you can enter the text right here so we can enter text like let's say don't forget your stuff just like that you enter there any text you want tap the next button and of course click done right there and when you leave that place you will receive that notification on your iphone that of course making sure that you don't forget anything before leaving now with automations you can also create automations for sound recognition you know iphones have now that feature when it can recognize a sound and of course give you a notification or stuff like that but you can also create your own like notification so you create personal automations right here go and find here sound recognition tap on choose sound and let's say i want to do door knock and doorbell tap on done and then tap next here add action and just search for speak So here we have speak text and you can enter the text right here. I can say, for example, because I have selected door knock and doorbell, I can say here, check your door. So right, check your door here, just like that, click done. And now whenever your iPhone hears those sounds, it will say to you, it will speak basically this text and it will say, check your door. Always make sure that you turn off ask before running click done and you're good to go now with ios 15 now you can also have automations for different focus modes so you tap the plus button create personal automations and i will show you guys just an example here but there's a ton you can do for that so let's say we want to do something like gaming for example now when you're gaming of course you don't want to swipe accidentally and get out of the game so what i can do here is tap on gaming when turning on click next and i can choose here guided access so start guided access just like that tap the next button always disable ask before running and now whenever i turn on gaming mode it will automatically also turn on guided access so of course my device will actually be locked into the game and i won't accidentally swipe out of the game now you can also do basically the reverse of this so you can choose any app and have different focus modes 
on any app that you want. So let's say I go right there, create personal automation and I can choose app here. So I wanna turn on do not disturb or any other focus modes when I'm reading, let's say when I'm reading or doing something else, let's just choose some like app store, Amazon here, you can choose a bunch of apps, as many as you want. Click the dumb button, click next and then add action and just search for focus. So here we have set focus and you can go ahead and choose what you want to set. Any of your focus modes that you have, I can select here, do not disturb. And of course, click on until turned off, click next. And now whenever I, let's say I open the books app to read a book, do not disturb will be automatically turned on on my device. Here is a really cool automation. This automation will allow you to actually lock out of an app anyone you want of course on your device you can set any amount of apps that you want and no one will be able to actually open those apps now the first thing you want to do is go to the clock app and make sure when you go to the timer section you have here this setup when timer ends stop playing click set right there and now let's go back to automations so what you want to do there is create a personal automation choose app right here and choose the apps that you want to lock so let's go with calculator and then tap on next and then tap on add action and search for start timer so here we have start timer click right there and switch to seconds and just enter there one click next disable this of course and click done now what this will do actually when someone tries to open an app like the calculator app you can see i can open it for one second, it will actually lock the device. So the device now is locked. It will go out of the app and onto the lock screen with the device locked. And now you will need face ID or the passcode to actually have access to that app. Now automations are also super useful when it comes to batteries and of course, low power mode as well. Now, one thing you can do if you don't wanna check your battery level all the time is create a personal automation for battery level right here. So let's say when battery level falls below, let's say like 30% here, what you can do is tap next and just search for vibrate. So vibrate device, and you can see this is super simple, but it's super useful at the same time. So anytime the battery falls below 30%, you will hear a vibration on your device so that you don't actually have to worry about picking at your battery and seeing how much battery you have left. Now, when your device falls below 20%, your device will ask you with a pop-up if you wanna turn on low power mode or not. And of course, when you actually charge your device and it goes over 80, it will turn it off automatically. But of course, you can set that up by yourself. So you can go ahead and create a personal automation and then choose right here, battery level. So let's say I wanna turn off on low power mode at 30%, falls below 30%, click for next here, search for low power mode, set low power mode on, and that's just like that. Click done here and you're good to go. Low power mode is set on at below 30% automatically without you having to worry about that. You can also choose to turn off low power mode when it reaches a certain percentage. So let's say we want to do that at 50%. So rises above 50% here, add action, low power mode off. Click right there to turn it off. Click here, don't ask and you're good to go. Now you have set up two automations for low power mode that will basically do anything automatically. Of course, we have a ton of apps that we use daily on our device. And when we open certain apps, we wanna make sure that we have the volume off on our device. You don't have to worry about doing that manually. Just have the plus button here on automations, choose the apps that you wanna apply that for. So choose the apps right there, click the dumb button, click next and search for set volume so here we have set volume and just go ahead and set volume to zero right here. Now your device will be muted automatically when any of those apps are opened on your device. And last but not least, something really annoying that happens to me a lot. Whenever I connect my iPhone to the car's Bluetooth, it will automatically open the music app the apple music app i don't listen to music through that app i use spotify so what i want to do is tap the plus button here click on personal automation and choose bluetooth and choose the bluetooth of my car here 
and now tap the next button and of course search for open app so here we have open app and choose of course spotify so here we have spotify tap next and this is now good to go whenever i connect to that bluetooth it will open the app that i want so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are 10 automations that i believe every iphone user must have on their device in 2022 thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it also thank you for subscribing we just reached 300 000 subscribers that's really amazing so a big appreciation to you guys for subscribing to the channel again thank you and i will see you on the next one